Hello and welcome to this Ventus feature video. In this video we will give you a short overview of our new DMX integration. With our newest release, Ventus supports the Artnet and SACN protocols. These are reality-free communication protocols to transmit DMX signals over Ethernet. They are both based on UDP, so you can choose one of them or just use both in parallel. They work on the same network without complications. The DMX integration allows to send DMX signals to DMX devices like fixtures, moving heads, LEDs and so on. Or to receive DMX signals from, for example, a lighting control desk or even another Ventus system. Not only can DMX devices and installations for stages, broadcasts, EDC be controlled by Ventus. The true potential of this feature is the direct combination of the logic and 3D real-time content of Ventus and DMX setups. If your targeted devices support Artnet or SACN, they can be directly connected to Ventus via Ethernet. To connect to an actual DMX setup, a simple Artnet to DMX converter is needed to convert from Ethernet to DMX cabling standards. You will find five DMX nodes in the I.O. category of the toolbox. First there are in DMX in to receive data and DMX out to send data. The properties of the DMX in and DMX out node are very similar. First, set up the data channels that should be received or sent by adding properties to the node. These properties can be of various types like float, integer, color, boolean and even arrays. After having added properties, the number behind it indicates to which DMX channel this data is sent. Finally, select the universe that should be used to receive or send data and set the base channel like you would on any other DMX device. The DMX from Texture Node is an easy way to send color values to LED panels or lights with individually controllable LEDs from a texture input. Set up 1D or 2D strips to define which pixels of the texture input are transmitted. You can also create animations by simply animating the position of the strips or the use of movies or image sequences as texture input. Besides other properties, the span mode allows to span the outgoing data across multiple DMX universes if the data channels exceed the universe limit of 512 channels. The next node is pan tilt, which helps to translate parameters like pan tilt angles and degrees to the value range of DMX channels. The DMX trigger node can receive trigger commands, which are an ARPNET specific feature. Besides using the nodes, project data channels can be configured to receive DMX data easily for every scene in your project directly. Now I will show you an example of a possible setup. For this example we created a scene for a touchscreen and a presentation rig with LED strips, moving lights and a large flat screen. The Ventus scene on the touchscreen acts as user input to control the Ventus scene on the flat screen, which changes the lights to the layout color of the scene, moves the lights in Kronius, and sends a texture animation to the LEDs by integrating the DMX nodes directly in the scene's logic and animation. The input from the touchscreen is a simple touch button, which controls different animations in Ventus. If a user makes an input and triggers an animation, Ventus changes the layout color and the content of the scene, and at the same time it also sends the values as DMX signals out to the according DMX channels. Simultaneously, all LEDs are animated by a moving texture. The headlights are moved from animation and the colors of all lights change to the layout color. This setup is simple but functional and if you are a little bit inventive, you could create a lot of special controls, for example, a trigger with a fader or an automatic color picker. The next setup is an example for DMX input. It shows how you could control Ventus from a lighting desk. It uses the same installation with another scene, but now the lighting desk changes the color of the whole scene and the camera animation is controlled simply by a fader. I hope this video was helpful and now you have an idea what you and your team could create with this powerful and flexible feature. If you need more information about the DMX implementation in Ventus, you can visit our user manual website on ventus.com. We would like to thank our friends from Carl Group to help creating this video. See you next time, bye!